Hello everyone, welcome back to the College Review Series by Akash. Today we are going to review Indian Institute of Technology, Gandhinagar. So if you want to have a 360 degree review of this IIT and want to know everything about its campus to courses, from fee structure to scholarships, from placements to cutoff and a lot more, then do watch this video till the end. Located on the banks of Sabarmati River in Gujarat's Gandhinagar, the Indian Institute of Technology was established in the year 2008. According to NIRF 2024, the IIT was ranked 18th in the engineering category. Let's have a look at its wonderful campus. The campus of the Indian Institute of Technology Gandhinagar is spread over an area of 400 acres. The IITGN campus is the first campus in the country to receive a 5-star Griha LD rating for its numerous sustainability and energy efficiency measures. The institute is the first and only academic campus to receive a 5-star E-Tribe campus award by FASI, F -A -S -S -I, for its safe, hygienic, nutritious, healthy and seasonal food choices. Talking about the infrastructure now, the on-campus infrastructure includes several hostels for male and female students, medical facilities, messes and canteens, general stores, bank and post office and facilities for indoor and outdoor sports. Campus provides fields and courts for various sports such as football, cricket, volleyball, basketball, jogging track, hockey, gymnasium and table tennis. A wide range of undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral level programs are offered by Indian Institute of Technology Gandhinagar. Talking particularly about the BTEC program, then the IIT offers 250 seats to the aspirants in the various branches of engineering such as artificial intelligence, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, integrated circuit design and technology, materials engineering and mechanical engineering. In addition, the institute admits students to the following three BTEC MTEC dual degree programs such as computer science and engineering, electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. But how to get into one of these courses is the big question. Let's have a look at the admission process and eligibility criteria. So the candidates aspiring for BTEC from IIT GN first of all must have passed class 12th board examination with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their core subjects. For general category of the students, the required percentage is 75. Whereas for the students who belong to ST, SC or PWT category, for them the required percentage is 65. Further, the students must have cleared JE advance to be eligible for the admission process. And to be eligible for that, you first of all need to clear JE main paper 1. For foreign students, they need not to appear for JE main paper 1. They can straight away register themselves for JE advance. Thereafter, candidates register themselves for JOSA counselling based on the marks secured in their J advance. For foreign students, they get accepted through DASA, Direct Admission of Students Abroad and ICCR scheme. Now let's talk about the fee structure. So here is the consolidated fee structure for the first semester and for the other seven semesters. Fee for the first semester is going to be 1,59,338. Now which includes tuition fee, other allied charges, mess and laundry advance fee, hostel rent, utilities, etc. and one-time admission charges. Whereas, fee for other semesters would be 1,46,588. Hence, the total fee for the entire BTEC course will amount to be approximately 12 lakh rupees for general category of the students. As for other category of the students, the tuition fee which is 1 lakh rupee is completely exempted. Like all the IITs, IIT Gandhinagar also offers certain fee waivers to its economically weaker section students. For all the ST, SC and PWD candidates, they get complete remission on the tuition fee. For all the students whose parental income is less than 2.5 lakh, they also get complete remission on the tuition fee. That means they need not to pay tuition fee. Whereas candidates with parental income between 2.5 to 5 lakh, they will only pay one third of the tuition fee. Along with this, the students whose parental income is less than 9 lakh per annum, they shall have an access to interest-free bank loan under the Vidya Lakshmi scheme for the total portion of tuition fee payable. 
In addition to this, the IIT also offers certain scholarship schemes to its meritorious students, such as Scholarship for Academic Excellence, Scholarship for Excellence in Sports and Games, Scholarship for Excellence in Arts and Culture, Scholarship for Excellence in Works and Leaderships, Further, Free Basic Messing Assistance and Other Financial Aids. For complete information on IITG in scholarships and the eligibility criteria for the same, do visit the link given in the description. Let's talk about the placements now. IIT Gandhinagar placements for the year 2024-25 has not been revealed by the institute yet. However, if you rely on the data which is available for the year 2023-24, then out of 164 registered students, 125 students landed job offers, resulting in a placement rate of 76.22%. The key recruiters included Akash Institute, Accenture, Amazon, Amul, Deloitte, Adobe and many more. Now let's move on to the J Advanced Cutoff 2024. Here is the branch wise data for the year 2024 after fifth round of JUSA counseling for gender neuter category. You can use this data as a reference for your choice filling process in the future. Let's start with artificial engineering. The rank cutoff for this branch opened for gender neutral at 1638 and closed at 2175. For chemical engineering branch, the opening rank stood at 6,344 and the closing was 7,803. Now, computer science and engineering, the rank went as high as 654 and the rank closed at 1,633. Talking about civil engineering, the opening rank for gender neutral was 8,211 and the closing rank was 9,339. Here is the branch wise cutoff for all the remaining branches. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. For more information on IIT Gandhinagar cutoff 2024 for different categories such as for ST, SC or PWD category or for girls students, do visit the link given in the description. Now let's have a look at the students life at IIT Gandhinagar. Like all the IITs, IIT Gandhinagar also conducts quite a few festivals around the year. Let's have a glimpse of all the festivals. Amalthea, Amalthea which is is an annual tech fest at IIT GN. Blitzkron. Blitzkron is a two day cultural festival of IIT GN. The fest showcases events like fashion shows, the rock competitions, dance competitions, and many more. Then is Halla Bowl. Halla Bowl is an all night intra institute sports festival at IIT GN. Ignite, an intra institute fest celebrated to admire the beauty of technology through fun, amusing activities and events. Jashn, Jashn is a three day fun filled intra institute cultural fest with innovative, traditional, and exciting events or games, including art exhibition photography and movie making competitions, quizzes and dance, drama and musical performances. Further, the other events are such as TEDx, Winter Carnation and Eureka. Now let's quickly find out what do the IITians have to say about the IIT. The sports complex is a major highlight. Location of campus is quite off and far from the city. The campus has good infrastructure. Moderate placement rate. The students club don't get much funding, hence people don't participate, are some of the reviews given by the students themselves. Overall, IIT Gandhinagar is regarded as one of the strong institutions, especially for the students who are looking for a modern educational experience with a focus on research and interdisciplinary studies. IIT's reputation continues to grow, making it a good choice among all the aspiring engineers and researchers. Rest the call is all yours as this was all from me today. Now you let me know which other IIT do you want me to review next. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button and for more such informative content, stay connected.